Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys our week six for preschool with Evelyn. If you're interested in finding out all the activities we have going on this week, stay tuned. So before I get started, I do want to mention that we're using, for some of you guys that haven't been following me for long and you're just kind of tapping into this video, we are using the preschool palace curriculum as our base um, for letter introduction and math and all that kind of good stuff. I do use other supplementary work just to instill the letter sounds because we're doing phonetic letter sounds with Evelyn. She's four years old and uh, she turned four in May, so she's an, a young four. Um, so what we're doing is we're following the preschool palace curriculum. I am using some supplementary work. So for week six, we're doing the letter M. We're also introducing the word the. So that's going to be her sight word for this week. Um, last week, we actually took the week off. There was a few things going on and we were scheduled to take the last week of September off. And I ended up having to take uh, last week off. So if you guys didn't see a video, it was because of that. So this is our week six. Again, it's gonna be the letter M and the word the. I believe we're doing the number two this week. And um, she's got down the, the letter uh, C down. So she knows the sound, she knows what it looks like. She does have a little bit of trouble writing the letter C. This week, you're gonna see with some of the activities that I have lined up for her, we're gonna be introducing the letter M, but we're also gonna be reviewing the letter C just to make sure that she can remember what the letter C looks like and what sound it makes. Um, the sight word that she had last week was A. I'm not pushing her too much for the sight word. I'm figuring we're kind of, we're going to be reviewing it every single week and going over. You'll see once I show you guys her focus wall, um, and some of the activities that she has lined up. So if she doesn't memorize it that first week that we learn it, um, like I said, we're going to keep reviewing that sight word. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you guys around. I did do something different with the little uh, collax unit here. So this video is going to be a little bit longer than the ones that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks showing you guys what I have going on for her because I do want to show you guys what I did back here. Um, we haven't started school with Evelyn. We finished halfway with the boys, but they had a dentist appointment. So my husband took them to the dentist. So we were able to finish language arts with the boys and then when they get back from the appointment, I'm gonna to try to squeeze in math and uh, geography with them. So right now while they're gone, I'm gonna to try to focus with Evelyn and do her schooling. But I wanna show you guys before we get started everything that we have lined up for her for this week. So let me go ahead and turn you guys around so I can show you guys everything that we have going on this week. Okay, so I have her watching a little story and it's a little scholastic story that she's watching um, about a mouse on her little computer so while I have her doing that I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you guys what I have going on for her so one of the things that I ended up doing for Evelyn is we do science and social studies every Friday and um, I moved a few of her things here around and just kind of um, condensed everything so everything now I was able to squeeze into pretty much all those shelves over there for the collax unit and then I made room on the other collax unit which is the whiteboard one um, there so that one here is kind of filled up with some of the things that she had here so what I ended up doing was every Friday we do science and social studies so what I ended up doing is I made one compartment her science and one her social studies because what I was doing on Thursday nights or Friday mornings was running around rummaging and trying to pull aside all everything that we're gonna be learning and working on for that Friday. So I figured if we have it here in her face and if she wants to work on some of this throughout the week, she can. And um, this is basically what we're talking about um, these last two weeks. So last week and this week, we're talking about our body system. So I decided to set up a whole thing um, on my body. So these are all the activities that I have set out for her along with her little, to go along with her little um, science uh, notebook. So all the activities are there. And then for social studies, all she's really doing with her curriculum that we're following is little word swords or picture swords. So um, for this Friday, we're talking about past and present and um, all her little um, pictures are right here and then we just sort them out on that little um, 
pocket chart. So I just decided to go ahead and just leave it out. So like that on Friday, I'm not looking for it and it's there ready for us to work out of. So that is one of the different things that I did with the Klax unit. Um, and then I made this one her phonics one because before I was just kind of sticking all this up here. Um, so I decided just to kind of make this little compartment into her little phonics um, bin. So I did a little chalkboard and I wrote the letter M capital and lowercase. She can practice writing the letter M if she wants on the back side of the chalkboard. It's double sided. And then let me show you guys what I did here. So this is her little phonics dish. Um, so she has her little flashcard and everything that begins with the letter M. So she has a monster, a mallet, some money, a mummy, a magnifying glass, a magnet, and a little monkey. There's a little monkey right there. Um, so this is her little phonics thing. So this changes out obviously with the um, letter that we're doing. And then on this side, I put some of these little um, phonic cards and these are from this Reading Mama. And she can trace the letter M and then all she has to do is clip whatever picture begins with the letter M. And I put the little clothespins there. And um, she has two letter M's and then she has her review letter C card. So that is something that she can pick up and work on whenever she wants. And um, that is it. So that is a new thing that I decided to do for Evelyn for pre-K. And all this, like I said, will be changed out every week, depending on what we're doing. Um, as far as the body system, we've been working on that for two weeks already. So it's going to be our second week working on that. And then we kind of move on gradually to the developmental stages of pregnancy. So this will change a little bit, not too much, because we're still going to talk about the body. And um, this book is wonderful. It actually um, goes almost... Um, with some of the uh, science lessons that I'm doing with Evelyn, it kind of goes hand in hand. So I'm leaving that book there because we're kind of reading out of it. And then as far as social studies, if there's a book or anything that goes with the lesson that we're learning, then obviously I'll put that there. For now, when it comes to present, present, um, there wasn't really anything. I mean, we have an abacus and then I was thinking of putting a calculator, but it's just too big and it didn't fit. So I figured I would just leave it alone. Um, so yeah, so I kind of just left that little area alone, but, uh, like I was saying, if for a different lesson, there's something I can put in there, like a puzzle or anything, depending on what we're talking about, then I'll go ahead and put that in there just for this, um, topic past and present. There was just really nothing that I can put in there for, for this topic. Um, but yeah, but that's, that's one of the main differences. So now let me go ahead and show you guys what I set out for her. So up here, these are some of the books that we're going to be focusing on this week. Today, we actually read Ms. Maple Seeds, it's such a cute book. Um, so that book, and then we have Mouse Mess. I put out my little M bean bag that I made for her, and then um, her little moon puzzle. And all this kind of stuff is just stuff that I set out for her to keep busy with. So for instance, this little puzzle, she has her little letter M lacing cards right here. This is her little sight word flash cards that I set out. So again, this is how we're gonna be reviewing A. So I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna put the cards away just because we're done with it, I'm just gonna keep adding to the sight word cards. So like that, we can keep uh, reviewing them. And then she has her little um, letter M cards here that we get to build sentences with. So like the monkey, the mitten, and so forth. Um, so that is what I have there. She has her little Evelyn blocks here. This one here is her beginning sounds for letter M. She has a moose, a mop, and a moon. Um, as far as our seek game, our seek and boo game, I pulled out the milk, the mailbox, and I believe that was it. The rest of them are reviews for letter C. Um, so those are there. And then I have her little Magna Mix, the letter M there. And then as far as this week, so what I have, okay, so on her desk, I have her letter M tracing sheet with her little uh, crayons. On the back side, she has a moon that she can trace, and then her letter M fun page. Um, this she tends to enjoy, so we use uh, dry erase markers for both of these here. Um, so this she'll probably be doing, she'll, she'll be working on this as soon as the little story's done here. Um, so up here, oh, actually, before, before I do that, let me show you guys her focus wall. So as far as her focus wall goes, I have the letter M flashcard, the number two, we're still doing the um, square, the color red, and then I changed out her sight word to the. And again, this is how we're reviewing the sight word from last week, so a and the, and we're gonna be building the words and doing just different activities for the sight words. Um, so over here, we have the build the letter M, 
So this, what I attempt to do, and like I said, last week I wasn't able to do it because let her see there's really no building. So with this, I'm going to give it to her and then she gets to uh, pull it apart and then rebuild the letter M's. And then she can use this to see so that she can see if she's doing it correctly. So that's what we do with that. Um, here she has her letter M, um, uh, find the letter M's. So again, I always pulled out the pull out the felt letters because I like for her to feel and touch the letter M. I like to make a lot of these acti activities multi-sensory. So I like for her to be able to touch and feel certain things and, you know, just different things like that. So all these are going to be her hands-on activities here in her work trays. So again, this one here, we're going to be working with magnets this whole week because it's a letter M. Um, so instead of the regular chips, I ended up pulling out my magnetic chips. So she'll be able to cover all her letter M's here. And then when she's done finding all the letter M's, she can go ahead and use her magnet to pick them up. So it just makes it a little, a little funner. So everything is out for her, everything that she needs for this activity. So she knows just to grab the tray and bring it to her desk and start working on it. Um, as far as her name activity, I did change it out for this week. This is one that I made for her. I have the letters here, they're Velcroed on, and she just has to build it, um, or put the letters in order to spell out her name. Um, so that is the name activity that she has for this week. As far as her craft for today, her craft for today is making a little mask. And again, I was gonna do a different mask, but I figured we can also use a cat. So like that, it's a little bit of a review from last week, or from two weeks ago. So we're doing a little cat mask this week. So um, I pretty much everything that she needs is here. She has her little scissors and a little popsicle stick um, to glue on the little mask. So she can just kind of um, wear it that way instead of rubber bands. So that is her craft for today. Then for her purple tray, she just has her, um, her Tangram letter building activity. So this one she gets to build the letter M. As far as her blue tray, this is this one I made her sensory bin for this week, or one of her sensory bins. She does have two this week because she has her Play-Doh one. So um, this one looks complicated, but it really is not. Hold on, baby. Um, so she has um, a little macaroni sensory tray. She has this little mouse page, which has capital letter M's and lowercase letter M's. So all she really has to do is use her little magnetic um, wand here and go through the macaroni macaroni and pull out a letter so now if it's a capital letter m then what she has to do is find a capital letter m here and cover it up and she can go ahead and set this aside and then go ahead and try again and just kind of stick it in here and again we got a capital letter m and so forth and so on so there's lowercase letter m's in here and uppercase letter m's so it's just a fun little activity. I also put in a few other things that are magnetic just to make it, you know, just kind of fun so they stick to her little wand. Um, but that's how this activity is gonna go. Oh, and then at the end, she can just pick them up with her magnet because these are the magnetic chips also. Um, so that is what I have as far as her little um, phonic sensory bin for today. And it should be a lot of fun. She tends to enjoy any of this kind of stuff. And this is just the macaroni um, that I dyed in uh, rainbow colors. So that is her little phonic sensory bin. This one here is just a little hands-on activity. She has her little um, letter sound clip card. So here she just traces her letter M's with her dry erase markers. And then anything that begins with the letter M, she just takes a clip and clips it on. Um, and she's pretty good at this. Last week with the letter C, she was nailing it every single time. So um, she's showing you guys how she does it and she just clips it just like that. So I go ahead and put in all the clips that I know she's gonna need for this activity. Okay, for her next activity in the dark green bin, we're gonna be talking about money. So for this one here is a page that I have in my uh, pre-K learning mats. I will try to link those in the description box. It's a whole pack that I have for sale with uh, for pre-K learning. Here, hold on, baby. So um, this is one of the pages from my little pre-K pack. So this one here, it's basically just recognition of the coins. And in here we have the backside. And I also added some little play money in here so she can use this as a reference. So she can match them up. 
and then we can look at the back side and she can match up the back side. What I like about this money is um, that it has, and excuse my nails guys, I'm sorry. Um, what I like about this money is that it gives you the cent amount because then we're also going to match it to the um, actual value of that coin. So she can totally use these coins as a reference for the, what the back of the coin looks like, the front, and the amount because of that. So I really like these coins and I forgot where I got this from, but I got, um, it was a whole thing of coins. Um, so again, so all the little uh, coins are in here, the back side, and she just gets to match it up. And we get to talk about, you know, the different amounts of money. Now for her yellow sensory bin, this one is just her Play-Doh one. So as far as her Play-Doh one goes, we have, we're still working on red, so she has her red Play-Doh in there. Um, let me pull this out. She has her mitten um, Play-Doh mat, and then she has her red Play-Doh mat. And usually when it comes to this, I just kind of let her go wild and she can do whatever she wants with it. Um, a lot of times I do have her build the letters with the Play-Doh. For all of these and then in here I just gave you a few different things she can stamp on the play-doh so she has a circle that she can um, I was thinking more like a moon she can make a moon for the letter M she has a letter M she has a number two and then I have these giant uh, coins that I found at the Dollar General and this is actually really cool because she can let me see baby uh -huh. she can just take a little bit of play-doh she can take a little bit of play-doh roll it up and then she can use the coin as a press to press the coin so she can uh, better recognize the money and see what it looks like so here it is so it um, prints the money on the play-doh so that is what I had in mind when it comes to the coins in there and they're nice and big so she can really um, get a good look at what they look like from the front and back so that is what we have going on as far as her yellow play-doh bin and up here as far as her math tree goes this one um, is very simple. This is the same thing that we do every week. It's just number recognition. So I pull out a card and she has to find it on the monkey. And again, I'm using the magnetic chips. So at the end, she has her magnet that she can just kind of pick them up with. Um, so these are the activities that I have lined up for her for this week. Um, like I said, I do change them out depending on if she gets bored with anything. So let me show you guys real quick all the activities that I have lined up for her as far as um, like crafts and uh, different supplementary okay, so work. So here's her little um, pre-K uh, bin where I keep all her supplementary work and extra work that we do throughout the week. So some of the things that I pulled out for her are these little clip cards. And again, we're gonna be reviewing the letter C. So I, pull, I went ahead and pulled, pulled out the M card and the C card. I also have these from This Reading Mama. And I've had these from, oh, I'm sorry. These are from The Measured Mom, I'm sorry. And I've had these for a long time. My son used these when he was in pre-K with me. And I went ahead and pulled out the letter M and the letter C because I'm going to be using these for review um, probably Thursday and Friday. So just later this week. So those are different things that I have for her. We also have all these little flashcards with letter M um, beginning sound uh, picture cards. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with these. Um, so I just have them in here because we can do some activity with them. I don't know yet. Um, she also has a letter M dobbing page. I might have her do this tomorrow, just as little supplement work. She has a little coloring book. This, all this stuff was from last year that we didn't get to, or she just didn't color. So it's just a little coloring book she gets to color. This one is another book that she gets to actually color, cut, and uh, build. So we'll see. I don't know yet what day I'm going to give her that. Another thing that I have is this, um, Dobbing letter M sheet. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. So these pages, all I give her, all I do is I give her a dauber and I have her dob all the letter M's that she finds in here. So that's another one. Here we also have a letter M capital and lowercase. I might have her decorate this with macaroni or I don't know yet. We'll we'll see what we do with this page. Um, as far as crafts, um, she has these little cutting page and this is just uh, little mustaches. So she gets to cut out some mustaches and um, get some cutting practice, scissor cutting practice with this. Um, this is something that I got at the Target Dollar Spot. It's a little monkey. So she gets to paint a little monkey later this week. This is one of her crafts for this week. Another craft that I have for her is a little brown paper bag monkey. 
And I already printed out all the pages and all she has to do is cut these out and build them. And uh, she gets to make a little monkey. So that's another craft that she has for later this week. And then in here are just a few other things. Let me see. Actually, that's empty. I haven't separated the stuff yet. Because I, I don't know yet what day she's going to be doing all this. So I haven't separated them in the weekly um, or the daily pages or folders yet. Um, so later this week, I'm going to change out the money one. This is uh, part of my little pre-K learning mats. This is the actual dollar, the bill one. So this one, I like it because we have the amount. And obviously, we just go through the dollar bills and see um, the amounts. And then you get to put down what you can buy with that dollar. So if it's $1, what can you buy for $1? So all these I'll separate and she can just kind of match them up. So I'll be changing out the money one for this one later this week. This is the letter M sound cover sounding cover so this is by the measured mom also so this one will be using chips also and anything that begins with the letter m she'll place down this i usually try to give her later in the week when she already kind of has the letter m sound down so it's not super hard for her um we also have this little activity page this is a mail carrier so she'll be able to just kind of match up this activity later on this week and these are just extra pages that i had from last year that we just never got to um, there was an extra monkey page. So I don't know that I'll have her do these three pages. Um, like I said, it's just extra. Um, but yeah, but these are the activities that I have lined up for her for this week. So now it's just a matter of separating them and figuring out what days she's going to do some of these crafts. But other than that, um, I've mentioned it before. I kind of have her just redo a lot of these activities pretty much every day. She doesn't get bored with them. She actually finds them to be pretty fun. And all this is her independent work. This is the stuff that... She gets to do when I'm working with her brothers. Now, when it comes to all her book work, all that kind of stuff is when I'm not working with her brothers and we can get done, um, get um, get some of this other stuff done. So like her writing, her phonics, her letter activity book, her sight word book, her math and color and shape book. So like I said, all that stuff is when I'm not working with the boys. We can work on that together. So yeah, so that's the purpose of the trade work is just to keep her busy. She's still learning. She's doing a great job with all of this stuff. Um, so that is it, guys. That's all I have for her for today. If you guys have questions about anything, feel free and leave them down at the bottom. Thank you guys for watching, and we will talk to you next time. The monkey... You want to rub your belly like you ate something yummy and you go, mmm, good job, mmm.